Hello, secondary one students. Let's start our biology lesson today. Sex determination in human and abnormal chromosomal cases in human. As we know before that each cell of the body has a karyotype, means the arrangement of chromosomes distinctly according to their size and numerating them. The first 22 pairs of chromosomes in each type of cell in males and females are called autosomes or somatic chromosomes. If we want to divide the 23 pairs of chromosomes, the first 22 pairs are called somatic chromosomes or autosomes, which are similar in both the sexes in males and females. They are similar. While the sex chromosomes, the last pair of chromosomes, number 23, which determines the sex of the human, whether it will be male or female, and carry the sex characters. The female cell has 22 pairs of somatic chromosomes and the last homologous pair of sex chromosome, uh, which are XX. Homologous pairs means they are similar. So the female cell contains 44 autosomes or 44 somatic chromosomes and the last pair, homologous pair of chromosomes, uh, which is XX. While in the male cell, it has the first 22 pairs or somatic chromosomes or autosomes are similar for those of females, but the last pair is heterogeneous. Heterogeneous Y because it contains two types of chromosomes, X and Y, where the X is larger than or taller than Y, and Y which is responsible for sex determination and they carry the male characters. Here, as we see, the difference between the sex chromosomes between the female and male. Here in the first one, the female has two types of chromosomes or the last pair of chromosomes homologous, similar to each other, X and X, while in the male, they are heterogeneous or non-homologous, different in shape and different in size. Here, it's normal marriage between male and female. The normal male karyotype is 44 plus XY, and the normal female karyotype is 44 plus XX. Let's take the gametes. When the cells of the testes divide meiotically, it will produce half the number of chromosomes in the sperms. But the sperm types are different because some of the sperms will contain 22 plus X here. We will make a segregation for the gametes. It will make 22 plus X here and 22 plus Y on the other types of sperms. So the karyotype of the male, 44, will divide equally on the types of the sperms, while the XY chromosomes will divide and separate into two types of gametes. So some of the sperms will contain 22 plus X chromosomes, while the other will contain 22 plus Y. Here in the female, all the ovary cells will divide meiotically to give the half number of chromosomes. 44 will be 22 and XX will be X, half the number of chromosomes on the original cell. So all the ovum will contain 22 plus X. When the fertilization occur between this type of sperm, which contain 22 plus X, and on the other side, with the only type of ovum 22 plus X, so the result first generation will be 44 plus XX, result in formation of female. While the other type of sperms, which is 22 plus Y, when it crossed or mating with or make fertilization with this type of ovum, which is contain 22 plus X, so the result generation will be 44 plus XY, which is male. This is the normal fertilization result, a normal male, a normal female. But what will happen if the crossing between this normal male, which is contain, his karyotype contain 44 plus XY, and the normal female, which is 44 plus XX, but during the meiosis division, 
for the ovum of the female. <coughs> Here, let's start with the male. 44 will divide into two gametes, 22 and 22, while the XY will separate or segregate between the two types of sperms, X and Y. This is normal till now. But on the other side, if the ovary of the female divide meiotically in an abnormal way, so some of the ovum will contain 22 plus XX. Here, these two X will not separate from each other. It's abnormal. So, sum of ovum will contain 22 plus XX, and the other has no X chromosomes. Has no X chromosomes. This is abnormal. This is abnormal ovum. So, if the fertilization occurs between this abnormal ovum and any one of the other sperm types, it will produce abnormal child, contains abnormal chromosomes. Here we will study some cases of abnormal genetic structures resulted from what? From fertilization between abnormal gametes with each other. <coughs> Here is the result of fertilization between these gametes. 22 plus X, this type of sperm. If make a fertilization with 22 plus 0, there is no X chromosome here. The result will be 44 plus X, 0. So the number of chromosomes here will be 44 plus X equal 45 chromosomes. And the normal human must contain 46 chromosomes. So it resulted in a disease or syndrome called Turner syndrome. And it affects on the females only. Okay? If this sperm makes a fertilization, for this type of ovum, which contains two sex chromosomes, X and X, so it will result in 44 plus X, X, X. The normal 44 plus X, X. So there is, <coughs> sorry, there is extra X chromosome here, which resulted in abnormal female, and we will not study this case. Okay. Returning to the second type of sperm, 22 plus Y. If makes a fertilization to this type of ovum, 22 plus XX. So the result will 44 plus XXY. So the normal male contains 44 plus XY. So here we have extra X chromosome, which leads to a disease or syndrome called Klinefelter syndrome. This we will be studied. And the last type of uh, uh, fertilization between this sperm 22 plus Y and this ovum which is empty from X chromosome 22 plus 0. So the result will be 44 plus Y 0. This fetus or this child will die. Why? Due to absence of X chromosome, which is called the live chromosome. It's necessary or important uh, for every living organism, not every living organism, for every human to contain X chromosome. Y is not matter because when Y is not found, it's female. But when X chromosome is not found, it's responsible for some characters of life. So if the human doesn't contain X chromosome, he will die. Let's study the genes which is responsible for sex determination. If the gene which is found or genes which are found on X or Y chromosomes, no, on Y chromosomes. Both contains genes responsible for sex determination. But Y which is mainly responsible for sex determination because when Y uh, or when the sperm contains Y chromosome, mix a fertilization to the ovum will produce the male. After six weeks from pregnancy, the fetus, six weeks means one month and a half, the fetus will begin secreting hormones which stimulate the undifferentiated tissues of gonads to form the testes and male sex organs means that after six weeks, the pregnant woman can 
uh, know whether if she's pregnant uh, with a male or female because the testes begins to form it. Okay, and after 12 weeks or about three months, around three months uh, uh, from pregnancy, the pregnant woman uh, can know whether if she's pregnant with a male or female because the two ovaries are formed during this weeks. Let's start our abnormal cases in human. The first case called Klinefelter's syndrome and it's affected uh, or affects on males only. <clears throat> It occurs when abnormal ovum, as we said before, abnormal ovum contains 22 plus X, X is an extra X chromosome. It's supposed to be 22 plus X only. This is an extra X chromosome. And normal sperm 22 plus Y. So the reason here is the abnormal ovum of the mother. After fertilization, let's sum them together. 44 plus X, X, Y. So this X extra one leads to formation of different karyotype, uh, which is formed from 47 chromosomes instead of 46 chromosomes. When we study the figure of this karyotype, the last pair of chromosomes here supposed to be X, Y only. So what are this? It's an extra X chromosome. Okay, this case is called the Klinefelter syndrome related to uh, the scientist who discovered this case. Uh, so this is uh, the explanation of the cause of this syndrome. Okay. What are the symptoms of Klinefelter syndrome? <clears throat> For sure this, uh, men will not reach a puberty or not full growing in the reproductive organ to form the sperms and complete the sexual reproduction. So he will be infertile male, can't reproduce due to absence of the cells which produce the sperm. Okay, and appearance of some feminine characters like enlargement, size of the breast and the tall stature or tallness of his body. Uh, and other symptoms is not important for us. The second case is Turner's syndrome and it affects on females only. What are the causes of this abnormal case? When fertilization occurs between fertilization occurs between abnormal ovum which contains 22 plus 0. 0 means there is nothing here. There is no X chromosome here. Ovum without X chromosome. Fertilized by a sperm containing 22 plus X so it's normal it's sperm, so the fetus will be 44 plus X is zero. There is X missing here, so she will be a female, but like one X chromosome. Here is the structure: abnormal ovum 22 plus zero. There is no X chromosome here, and normal sperm 22 plus X. So the fetus will be 44 plus X zero. There is missing X here. So all the chromosomes will be 45 chromosomes, not 46. And this is the karyotype of the Turner syndrome female. The last pair of chromosomes, XX, missing one of the X's. Okay, X is zero. And this is the, the symptoms, short stature, and woman doesn't reach puberty due to lack of hormones, uh, but in some cases uh, uh, it may be, be or, or she, she may be uh, pregnant by some ways. Slow mental development, slow mental development, but she's, uh, she has no mental retardation. Congenital disorder of heart and kidneys, congenital disorders of heart and kidneys. The last genetic disorder is Down syndrome, or as we call mangulis. Mangulis. What are the causes of mangulis? First of all, it may occur for both sexes, males and females. 
and the reason of this case not related to the father or mother, not for the sperm or the ovum. It doesn't depend on any one of them. It may occur uh, due to genetic disturbance in a sperm or genetic disturbance in ovum. And take care that this syndrome occurs on the somatic chromosomes or autosomes, the first 22 chromosomes, not the last chromosome, not the sex chromosome. So let's see, see the karyotype of them. Uh, if normal uh, uh, sperm or ova contains 22 plus X and abnormal sperm or ova contains extra chromosome on the autosomes, the chromosome number 21, instead of carrying a pair of chromosomes in the karyotype, it carries three copies of 21 chromosome. So the baby with Down syndrome will be 45 plus XX. So here, the sex chromosomes will not be affected. It's normal. But we have an extra autosome or extra somatic chromosome which is chromosome number 21 because here we have extra chromosome which is 21. If the fertilization occurs between normal uh, ovum 22 plus X and abnormal sperm which have has extra chromosome which is number 21 so the number of autosomes will be more will be 23 instead of 22 so the result will be 45 plus xy so it's down syndrome male also if the fertilization occur between abnormal ovum and normal sperm it will produce the same so here the reason of uh, causing down syndrome is not related to the sperm or the ova it occurs by both the symptoms of Down syndrome, delayed drop, short stature, oval face, flat head back, short fingers and toes, narrow eyes, and small ears, and mental retardation for sure. Okay, here is the karyotype of the Down syndrome. The pair of chromosome 21 has extra cubby, have extra cubby of chromosome 21. So the karyotype here, the nest of 46, will be 47 due to this extra chromosome. Thank you.